Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. Uh, the, today's Sunday, the first day of the week, and this afternoon my wife, Sister Kate, uh, was out teaching another sister how to properly use her handgun. Uh, that woman had had some minor training, basic training, and, and she had a concealed carry permit, and she was concerned that, that her skills weren't up to par. And, and so my wife went and worked with her, and my wife, in fact, works with many people, uh, many women, uh, and many in our congregation, uh, to improve their firearm skills. And that got me thinking about a couple things. Yesterday uh, in the sermon, one of the things we talked about was when uh, they came to get our Savior, well, my Savior, and I certainly hope that he's your Savior too, uh, Yeshua, Messiah. Um, when they came to grab him, uh, one of his disciples with him, it says, you know, he, he whipped out a sword and, and he cut off the guy's ear, right? And I got to thinking about that. That has a couple implications for us. The first one is, he was carrying a sword. Do you think Yahushua, uh, Yeshua Jesus, do you, do you think he knew that? Do you think he knew that his men were, were packing heat? Because that's what the sword was. You know, the, the sword of the day was, was the handgun. Uh, the sword back then was the same as the handgun today. And so, of course he knew. And, and so, it was obviously okay uh, to do that. The second thing is, we can read that he smote off the guy's right ear. Now, if you're, if you're not trained in martial arts, that just may go across uh, your brain and it may not register. But here's the deal. Most people, and you can study this, you can look at YouTube, uh, riot scenes or whatever, they hit this way. It's caveman hitting, right? Most people, right-handed, power hand, right hand, and they swing haymakers, or if they're swinging a, a, a hammer, you know, or here, here's a, a, a table knife, they, they swing this way with their knife. Well, if I were to swing at you this way, I would hit your left ear, right? To hit your right ear, I gotta come at you from this way. And so I got to thinking about that. And so he, this, this uh, apostle of Christ pulled out his sword and he smote off his right ear, so he had to come this way. In Filipino martial arts, we call this a number one strike and we call this a number two strike. And a number two strike is more complicated and it's not natural to most people. Everybody knows how to do this. You do this with a hammer, you saw like this, you punch like this. This is fine. And cutting off someone's left ear is relatively easy. But he cut off his right ear, so he pulled out his sword and he came across this way. You know what that tells me? Not only was he carrying a sword, but he was trained in its use. Ooh. You know, a lot of us are into preparedness and a lot of believers, um, maybe not you, uh, have something against firearms for some reason. It's, it's like they, they think they're, they're distasteful. Um, and so they avoid them altogether. I'll tell you this, uh, and you know it. You know, Jesus said, whoever does not have a sword should sell his cloak and buy one. All right, so, hey, you should have a sword. And, and the sword of today uh, is the modern handgun. Y you should have one. Um, here's another fact. Uh, men in our society uh, are less likely to be attacked and victimized than women are. You know, the average guy isn't going to come mess with me. I don't look like a victim. Um, but my wife could. I pity the fool, as Mr. T would say. But, you know, we need to train our women um, to protect themselves, especially if we let our women go places where we are not with them. And, and let's face it, guys, you could still be with your woman and something could happen and you could become incapacitated and it would be good for her to have some skills. And so I encourage you to think about that. And you ladies out there, I encourage you to think about getting some training. And see, that's the thing. A lot of us preparedness people are into guns. Hey? I have firearms, uh, but I'm not what I consider a gun guy. Uh, I'm not uh, infatuated with them. Uh, they're useful tools. But here's the deal. It's a tool. And until you get the training, uh, it, it's not going to be effective. You know, this is a Glock 19. It's not a magic wand, right? It won't make people disappear. Um, you have to be trained in how to use it. And so I would encourage you all to arm yourselves. Yes, I would. And I would encourage you to go get training. Uh, it's the right thing to do. Spend some time, spend some money, seek out some people, uh, get some training, and I'll see you out there. Bye.